Hello, my name is Francesca. I'm a Tai Chi, uh, tai Chi Chuan and Qigong teacher. I mostly studied in the school of Mantak Chia, but I have also other teachers and other experience. And I'm teaching since 1995. And I'm, this video is part of a series of video about the I Ching and, um, and the Taoist tradition and how to use it in the inner alchemy too. In this video in particular, I'm going to explain how you find out the lines of your hexagram, uh, throwing three, three, um, three coins, okay? First of all, you decide which, part, which side of the coin is two, and which side of the coin is three, okay? Head and tails. Once you decide, it will be better if you don't change it. And even it will be even better if you can uh, choose three coins between the one you have and put them aside. You're going to use the coins only always for the I Ching. Okay? Now, the possi possible outcomes, you'll get three... three um, um, you, have, you have six throws and three coins. Each throw gives you a, a line, yin or yang, and <clears throat> you will write on a piece of paper your lines from the bottom line, which is the first line, to the top line, which is the sixth line. Okay? The two pair numbers that can come out are 2 and 8, okay? And uh, uh, these are yin numbers, meaning that you'll draw a yin line, which is a broken line, like we said in another video. And uh, um, the yin has its power in diminishing, so the, the smaller number that you will get is the <coughs> minimum yin, the minimum line with yin, which means the yin, the yin is at its maximum, is uh, the because the yin gather on the bottom, then the lower line is the stronger yin line you can have. And as you will see, you can see from the famous Tao sign, not the one with black and white, with um, the two dots in the center of the black and the center of the white. In the center of the white there is a black dot, and in the center of the black there is a white dot to say that when the yang reaches maximum, it changes into yin. When the yin re reaches maximum, which is the going down, so it's the minimum number, okay, <coughs> change in yang. Which means that when we throw our, when we throw our, um, our coins and we get 2, 2, 2, which makes 6 together, Okay, this is a, the minimum yin number that you can have. Yin goes down, so this change in yang. And you general will draw a, a broken line with a cross in the middle to, to sign that it's a line that is changing in a yang line. We'll see later what it means. Either here in the center or on the side. Okay, another possibility that can happen is that you have. 2, 2, and 3, which all together make 7, okay? 7 is an odd number and is a young number, so. This odd number, young goes up. The maximum odd number we can have is 9, and that will be also the maximum of young because young goes up, okay? This is not 9, is 7, is a young line, but it's not changing, it doesn't... It doesn't uh, uh, it didn't reach its uh, fullness yet. This is the minimum Yang line that you can have. Yang goes up, so this is not a fully mature line. It stays as a fixed Yang line, and you will draw it like this. A straight line. Another possibility you can get is that you have 2, 3, and 3, okay? Which gives 8. 8 is an pair number and is the maximum pair number that you can have okay but yin goes down so this is the top the upper number you can have so this line don't is not a full fully a yin line it doesn't didn't reach its, um, 
is uh, ma mature, is not mature, so it stays as a fixed yin line, and you will draw it this way, a broken line. Okay? Then, you can have another possibility, all of them three, okay? Three, 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 whatever you choose for three, tail or, or head, as long as you don't change it on the way or ever, once you decide, it's decided. Nine, this is the maximum number and the maximum yang you can have. Yang goes up. So this is the maximum yang you can have. And this line is a fully mature yang line, which means it's going to change into a yin line. Okay, and you will write it this way eventually, like a straight line with a cross in the middle, or if you want, you can make the cross on the side. Okay, and this will change will change in a yin line. What does it mean will change? It means that uh, once you have drawn your hexagram here, okay, you will draw on another page nearby or on the side of the same page uh, another hexagram. Okay, first you get the hexagram that you get with these lines. Then you draw another one in which for each line that change, that mutate, okay, you draw the line in which it mutates, for example, if you got a yang line like this, on the side you will draw a yin line broken in the middle, okay? All right? And that will be another hexagram we are going to examine and I am going to tell you in another video what is the meaning of this hexagram and what do we do with that. All right, thank you.